Hi everyone, so glad you're here for something a little bit different. We are starting a seven day fitness yoga challenge. Inspired by some of my favorite yoga poses with a splash of fitness here and there, the seven days is a bit of a challenge. It's 20 minutes, you and I together, every single day on your mat with the end results making you feel and look your best. If you're ready to join along, roll out your mat, that's all you'll need and we'll get started. Welcome to day one of the seven day journey. We are jumping right into things. So if you're not already warmed up, give this video a pause and we'll see you when you are ready. Let's begin. Coming to the top of your mat, take a great big breath in, reach the arms high, hinge at the hips, exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet to the back, high plank position. Hinge forward, breathe out, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, untuck the toes, lift the chest, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Our vinyasa flow, those three movements there will get us warmed up today. We've got four more to go through. When you're ready, coming to the top of your mat, again, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky, stand up tall. Hinge at the hips, bow forward, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet again to the back, high plank position. Lower down as you breathe out. Inhale, lift the chest, shine the heart. Breathe out, hips high, downward facing dog. That's two. Again, to the top of your mat when you're ready, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to release. Inhale, stand up tall, root the feet, sweep the arms, and then bow forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back. Again, plank position when you're ready, lower down. Inhale, lift the chest high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Amazing, two more to go. Maybe ramping it up a little bit here. Perhaps you hop to the top of your mat. Getting there and landing in a forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold and inhale to stand. Sweep the arms high, back bend if you'd like and then all the way back down, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, plant the hands, hop or step to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedaling out here if that feels good. And then last round together onto your tippy toes, hop or step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, stand up as tall as you can, reach the arms, bend the back. Hinge at the hips, come all the way down, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, hop or step to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, in your downward facing dog, take a breath or two. And then inhale, reach the right leg high to the sky, bend in the knee, stack the hips. Squaring off the hips, draw the right knee to the right elbow as you breathe out. Inhale, lift it high. Exhale, knee to nose, hinge forward. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, keep it lifted. Inhale, breathe up. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Same thing, left side. Left leg lifts, stack the hips, open up. And then squaring them off, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, reach the leg up. Left knee to your nose. Inhale, reach it high. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, we are building here. That was round one. Inhale, the right legs turn again. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, breathe it up. Right knee to your nose. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Option to stay or fall in star pose. Drop the right foot, lift the left arm, hips high. Exhale, bring the left arm down. Left leg stays, right leg reaches behind you. And then perhaps you flip your dog here or option to stay as you were. Inhale to unflip, lifting the right leg high and then step it down, downward facing dog. Left sides turn, inhale, lift the left foot high, left knee to left elbow. Inhale it high, left knee to nose, hinge forward. 
Inhale, left foot up, and then exhale, left knee, right elbow, fallen star option. Open the heart, and then plant the hands, left foot lifts once again, all the way up. Maybe you flip your dog, we're moving fast, and then returning to your downward facing dog. Amazing work. Hinge forward, and then come to your forearms. We'll hold here just for a moment or two. Big breaths in and out, hips aligned with shoulders, forearm plank, strong core. Really come back to that deep breath. And then rolling onto your right forearm, we're going to stack the body, side forearm plank. Keep the hips lifted, maybe you stack the top foot or it's there for support. Inhaling back to center to transition onto the left, left side forearm plank. Keep breathing, stay strong. And coming back to your forearm plank position before you lift up to your high plank. Hinge forward, taking a vinyasa. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, shine the heart high, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling the right leg lifts high to the sky. And we're gonna stack our hips before flipping our dog here at the start. Coming out of that stacked position, we've been here before, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, lift high, right knee to nose. Inhale, leg up, right knee, left elbow, option for a fallen star or you hold, choice is yours. Right arm comes down, left arm lifts again. And then this time stepping through crescent lunge. So right leg is at the front of the mat, grounded. We're on the tippy toes of our left foot. Arms are high, really strong back leg. Breathe, find this first form. Exhale, your hands come to frame your right foot. Lift the left leg into the air, curtsy pose. As you breathe out, bend in both knees, tap the left knee behind the right ankle. Keep moving with your breath. Inhale to lift, exhale to curtsy. Next one, reach the leg out and then land in warrior two. This time the hips face the side, right knee is bent deeply, left leg is straight, both feet are grounded, but if put together would make a T form. Arms are out to that same T shape. With every exhale, sink a little deeper. Use your next breath out to come to extended side angle, right arm to your right thigh, reach the left arm overhead. And then framing your right foot with your hands, plant your hands, step your right foot back into the air for perhaps a one-legged vinyasa. Meeting us in downward facing dog when you're ready. One more breath to reset here and then left foot high to the sky. Option to flip your dog here, lift those hips, shine the heart. And then unflipping yourself, left knee, left elbow. We're getting good at this. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, left knee to nose, hinge forward. Inhale, lift high, left knee, right elbow. Option to hold or fall in star. Exhale, the right hand lowers, lift the left leg high, step it through, crescent lunge. Find that grounding first visit to this pose bending deeply into the left knee on the ball of your right foot. Really reach those arms up. With every exhale, sink a bit deeper. You've got this. Next exhale, hands come to frame the left foot, float the right leg into the air, curtsy poses. Breathing out, bend both knees. Right knee taps the left heel. Inhale to lift. Move with your breath. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tap the knee down. Nice work. How slow and controlled can you move here? And then with your next breath out, lunge the right foot back, coming into warrior two. Left knee is forward, right foot is grounded, perpendicular to the front foot. Hips face the side, arms to a T-shape, really sink nice and deep here. Extended side angle as you next breathe out, left arm to your left thigh, reach the right arm overhead. And then looking down, frame your left foot, step the left foot back before you take a vinyasa, perhaps just with one leg. Downward facing dog, take a breath or two, big inhales, big exhales. 
and then shift yourself forward to a plank position. Option to lower to forearms if that feels better before you come onto your side. Right hand stays. Maybe you lift their left arm high, left foot floats. Use the core to keep you strong and stable here. Inhaling back to center, high plank position. And then onto the left, left hand is low, right arm lifts, body is stacked, keep the hips high. Maybe you float the top leg into the air. Keep breathing. Coming back to your high plank position and then shift the hips high, downward facing dog. All right, we're gonna have some fun here. Walk the feet a little bit closer to the hands. Left foot stays as you start to kick up into the air like you were coming to a handstand. Our handstand kicks, bend deeply into that left knee, keep kicking the right leg high. It's not about getting into a handstand, it's about firing up into the left thigh, feeling the power in your body. You might start to lose your breath here. Keep those inhales and exhales coming. Now lower the left foot, lunge the right foot forward. Nice work, crescent lunge and hold here, recover. Of course, recovering through hard work of holding deep. Notice the difference this time. Beautiful work. Exhale the hands lower to frame the right foot, left foot high to the sky. Again, curtsy poses, maybe this time hands free. Choose your option but use every exhale to deeply bend in both knees. Tap the left knee to the right ankle. Exhales lower down, inhales lift you up. And then use your hands to give you support here as you transition to warrior two. Right foot's at the front, left foot is back, arms to a T shape, we've been here already. Ground, sink, breathe in a bit of stillness. Again, coming to side angle, option this time to lift the bottom arm, really use the core to keep you strong and stable here. Stay deep into that front knee. And then look down at your right foot, frame it with your hands, kick the right leg behind you, take a vinyasa of choosing. Meeting us in downward facing dog. Pedal out if it feels good. And then kicking into our handstands on the other side, right foot steps forward as we kick the left leg high. Nice, this is hard work. That right leg is already fatigued. Keep kicking up, use your core and the strengths in your lower body. Last one, and then step the left foot forward for crescent lunge. Catch your breath. Sink deeply with every exhale, hips are forward, arms are fired up tall. Breathe out, hands to the mat, framing the left foot, right leg into the air. Again, curtsy poses, hands free or with your hands for support. As you exhale, lower down. Inhale, straighten both legs. Incredible. You are doing great work. Keep breathing, keep moving. Hands come down for support as you lunge back into your warrior two. Bend deeply into the front knee, arms up to that T shape. Breathe in and out. Again, extended side angle, option for the support of your bottom arm or it lifts up. Really stacking those shoulders, gazing to the side. And then look down at your left foot, frame it with your hands, bring the hands for support, step the left foot back, move through a vinyasa. Keeping that control in our upper body, finding strength, meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, exhale that same way. And then with your next breath in, hopping or stepping to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling to release. Inhaling to sweep the arms high to the sky. Exhale, good toss in a chair pose. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sink down. Keep moving with your breath. Every time you breathe out, bend deeply into the knees. Every time you inhale, reach and stand tall. Keep the feet grounded. Activate your core. Keep the spine lifted. Shoulder blades squeeze behind you. Inhaling to lift. Exhaling to sink deep. Nice work. You've got this. Go a little deeper. And this time when you come down, hold. Chair pose. Open the arms up to cactus. 
a right angle in both elbows, rounding the tailbone under, rooting deeply into the feet. We are here for some time. Settle in. Maybe you close your eyes. Big breaths. It's just one visit that we're taking to this held posture. You are strong. You can stay. Maybe you can exhale a little bit deeper even. Next exhale, take that relief. <laughs> Gently roll onto your back. Glutes come to the mat. And then draw the knees in towards your chest. Gently rock from right to left. One more bit of movement here doing this three rounds. Inhale, lift the feet high to the sky. Hands can be under your back or your glutes for some support. Flex in the feet, two straight legs, lower them 30%. Keep breathing, keep the legs long. Next exhale, lower the feet another 30%, feeling your abdominals really firing up. And then lower the feet, just hovering off the mat, start to kick, gaze towards them, pointing in the toes, kick, 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 like you are moving through water, maybe you smile, you are definitely breathing. Almost done, keep going. Nice work, inhale, lift up. Head is relaxed on the mat, feet towards the sky, flex. When you're ready, here we go again. Lowering the feet another 30%. And again with your next exhale, lower them 30% more. Firing up in the core, stay here, you're strong. Exhale to lower them to a hover. This time we are crisscrossing, right ankle over left, real quick. Left, right, left, right, keep moving. Look towards the feet, keep the legs and core strong. You've got this. Inhale, reach the feet high to the sky. Nice work. As promised, there's three rounds here. This is the last one, holding that final pose a little bit longer. Flexing in the feet, lower the feet 30%. Keep breathing. Again, another 30%. You've got this. And finally, bring the feet to a hover. Look towards them. Crisscross once again, like we did last round. Crisscross, keep going. Now start to flutter the feet, staying here, still hovering, kick, 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 up and down, up and down, you've got this. Again, crisscross, stay nowhere else to be. And finally, kicking it out, let it go, keep going, almost done. Pointing the toes up and down, up and down, and release, knees into your chest, give yourself a hug. Incredible work, hard work is done. Maybe you rock from right to left, and then when you're ready, take a couple rocks and rolls forwards and backwards to massage out the spine, to celebrate your incredible body and the end of our shared workout for day one. Nice job. Thank you so much for joining in for day one of this seven day journey. I hope you're as excited about tomorrow as I am, where day two takes us into an abdominal focus. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you get the latest information of when new classes are posted, and why not share it with a friend if you want them to come along on this journey too. Looking forward to hearing about how this goes for you. Let us know on Instagram or Facebook. Use the hashtag yoga with Corey. See you guys tomorrow.